And it's time for Off the Press. And we have been joined by Opunabo Onko Teria, a public affairs analyst who's joining us from River State. Good morning to you, Opunabo. Good morning and good morning, my dears. Happy Independence Anniversary to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's begin you with you the... Expect, you expecting me to say something? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wish us? It's, it's a it wouldn't be out of place to say mm -hmm. it. Open I up. wish you God speech. Oh, open up. I can see you have a touch of mm. green and white, so you are very patriotic. We like that. Mm. All right, yeah, so. I'm very patriotic, but not to the government. <laughs> okay. I'm patriotic to the winning country called Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. All right, so let's begin with. Um, the Punch newspaper and the Punch newspaper is. First, before I go in, first, first, sorry, hmm. I listened to your conversations and I, I, I'm very interested because uh, questions were asked. Hmm. What happened to a Nephilim bus and why are we in this situation? Hmm. And nobody has answered that question. Hmm. But well, also well. asked, what happened to Magu? What happened to the CTC chairman? What happened to the Senate president? How did he become a senator again? What happened to, uh, what's his name called? Uh, uh, Buratai? I play golf with him. What happened to him? Because the NSC said they cannot find anything to justify the amount released to him to purchase arms and ammunition. Mm. What happened? And where is Buade for crying out loud? Mm. What happened to Tinibu's certificate? Mm. Why must you protest and pick against the release of your certificate? Well, this afternoon. Let us ask questions. Yeah, this afternoon. Please. The judge has said release. Why are you saying don't release? If you want my certificate, I can bring them to you on telly next time I appear. Well, this Why is it news mm. that from second, from primary school, university if somebody one person will come out to say i met him it is news and it becomes news that somebody has come out to say he was to me classmate i believe if today you stand out and say my classmate even though you've forgotten it is when they identify themselves you will now remember that yes they are even your classmate that's true why is it news that is the country will find it Buhari went to court to say, no, stop them. How many SAS? Stop them from probing the prison and the prison. And the SAS to appear, of course, their money. Stop to stop them from probing the other side of the academic politics. Somebody came on earth and said, we joined the army the same day, I was your classmate. We joined the army the same day. And all of a sudden, Buhari is how many years my senior? Even when I left secondary school in 1986, there was no picture attached to certain We are suddenly brought somebody from anywhere, God knows, with his picture to prove that he went to secondary school. And is that that level? What is it? If I, today I miss my wife, I write to, if I miss my wife, I write to wife. It will take time, but they will fish it out. Why do I have to bring somebody? With picture. We are really at Cambridge. With picture. You'll say yes. It wasn't the style. It is a style now for our kids, but it wasn't the style. Now. Then this one now too is probably don't get myself. I don't know his father. I don't know his mother. I don't know the school he went to. He said he's 71. His daughter says he's 61. The girl, the person that attended the school, a female, the person that graduated, a male. Ha. Ah. Oh, well, this, today we'll, we'll find, uh, we, we'll probably have a, a closure on that as the university uh, avails um, former Vice President Tuku Abubakar all the details mm. that he needs um, all, regarding that. Because they're saying um, there's some other personal information that should not be released. It's just the results or the certificate. Was there a call to Was there a call to so, Was there a call to Did he kidnap? No, but the she? judge says they should release you know, all that all his, she, The judge had call? initially said they should release. Including why will you go to... You are um, you don't release A and B. Was there a call to Did he kill somebody? Okay. 
If you use Odoji, I'm like that. Like three, three, like that. Well, what? What? I, what? Why will you detect people who want to do that? What? Let's let's concentrate on the papers right now. As a president, as a president of the country, you don't have shit to say anymore. We'll, yeah, we'll, you we'll become back, public we'll go property. Back to that if, if it is possible, yes. Mm -hmm. So let, let's go straight to the paper and open up. But we begin with the Punch newspaper. And it leads with FGO case allowance for senior staff labor may suspend strike. Details of that, of course, is on page two of the Punch newspaper. I'll read you the writers. Wage award now for all cadre of workers, says Bajabia Mila. VAT on diesel way for six months. FG increases allowance to 35,000 Naira as labor rejects 25,000 Naira. OPS again, once against strike. So there you have it, Open uh, you, 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 I read out, we read out some of the details of that meeting that took place yesterday with the federal government. What's your take on this back and forth between labor and the NLC? Told you they, they, those in charge of labor, those in charge of TUC are just playing with Nigerians. They are hungry and greedy fellows out there to fed out behind their pockets. I, I told you last week, if you remember, I said they can't go on strike. Whenever their pockets are dry, they certain strike action. Then whenever they are, their palms are greased, they call up the strike on flinches. First and foremost, labor is not fighting for you. Labor is not fighting for the ordinary natural. The labor is fighting for itself. And at best, 10% of Nigerians. Why did I say that? Okay, all these are palliatives meant for federal workers. What are state workers and other Nigerians? How many times has labor threatened to go on strike? How many times did it call off the strike? And he asked a very simple question. Before suspending the strike, did the government address those needs? It has a resounding no as a response. If the government had addressed those needs right from the time of war, we won't be talking about the strike. That labor is going on strike simply means the government reneged on promises. And the only way to ensure that the government is alive to its promises is simple. Go ahead and do them. Once you start doing them, we will call off the strike. But we will not call off the strike before you commence. That is what we expect. But what they're interested in are just two things. I'm talking of labor now. One, I have to be seen on telly with Mr. President. I'm also a good man. I think what is deceiving labor is that labor NLC president. That president. I'm also, I will see, he's laughing laugh, sheepishly. <laughs> he's, he's, that's his only enchantment. He's only interested in being told that he has a meeting with Mr. President. Because it debates my imagination. If I say, okay, I'm coming to Plus TV, and unless I am paid, I will not leave. The management says, oh, no problem. We are going to pay you next week. I said, fine. The next thing management runs to court to say, Opnabo, we are not going to pay Opnabo, and Opnabo must be restrained from entering the premises of Plus C. Once that happens, I will not even negotiate with you anymore. I will also go to court to enforce my rights. If I have the capacity to paralyze Plus TV, I will paralyze Plus TV. Because it is war, it's a declaration of war. Then when that happens, I come back here and negotiate. And I have not been given a cup. Nothing to show good faith. In other words, okay, we are owing you one million naira. Even if it's two hundred thousand, nothing to show. Every day I call you, promises, promises. I threaten action. You call me, invite me. You say, don't worry, I'll pay you next week. Next week I call promises. So I'm not. I don't have interest in them. I, Nigeria should disregard the. In fact, I don't want labor to talk of strike. Nigerians it, will have a strike of their own, such as the NSAS. Not labor. Because we don't believe in labor also. They are there to federal line their pockets. 
Interestingly, well, different sectors of the government, different sector, uh, sectors of the society have indicated interest. We saw that yesterday and I think on Friday, uh, where different sectors have indicated interest to join the strike on That is because, on the, because of, of the October. way the NLC president spoke. He said nothing. And he don't forget, he said this strike, nothing was going to prevent this strike, that they were going to go on that strike because the federal government has failed on all these things. So it was like, well, although we take that with a pinch of salt, let us give Labour a trial. If this strike... Openable. Openable. It does appear that we have a little mm. bit of a glitch again. I wonder why this has been happening for the past one, two weeks. Openable and Kotaria, a political affairs analyst from River State, is our analyst on uh, on of the press this morning, and we're having a little bit of technical glitch. And hopefully he'll join us again. He'll reconnect, and we'll continue this conversation. He yeah. was talking about the internet has gone wrong. Uh, is acting independent. <laughs> it's fluctuating. <laughs> so uh, many people had mean. indicated. I mean, the banks uh, and some others, you know, have yeah. indicated interest that they, they will be joining the strike mm -hmm. uh, this morning. I mean, tomorrow morning. But there you have it, just as Opuna Boy saying, uh, it may not, you know, take place after all. Um, and he's saying uh, and NLC should no longer talk about strike, but Nigerians should just organize themselves and have a strike. But I wonder if Nigerians want to do that. They, uh, we, we are divided into two groups now, the Nigerians who want good for Nigeria and the hooligans who just want... Uh, what can enter their bellies no matter what they do. Mm -hmm. So when you're going on a, a strike or a demonstration, a peaceful demonstration, you are the Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And then there's another group which may be fewer but more dangerous than you that will hijack that and then they destroy things and do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So if they don't go on strike, the alternative will be to demonstrate, to, to protest, to as, as, as peaceful as that can be, there's a possibility that it will end badly. So, between the devil and the deep blue sea, yeah, because is where Nigerians, we are. especially the youth, protest. have learned so, from what happened yes. during the end stars protests. So, and you know, that has. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now, Opnago. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, sorry. Yes. So, you, you are saying if, if, if Nigeria goes on, if Nigeria goes on strike, what will happen? Not strike. I'm saying we are just between the devil and the deep blue sea, we go on strike, which is, uh, for me, not such a bad thing, uh, if we can press home our demands and get it done. Uh, the other, other alternative, maybe like you talked about, is to protest. But Nigeria now is the people who want to protest for something good, and the others who want to hijack it for, for selfish and very dangerous things that they will have to do. The hooligans, the, well, there is nothing the you criminals. Can do. There is nothing you can do about that. There is nothing you can do about that. That's the truth about it. And is it, I always tell people, I say, in order, at times it becomes expedient that in order to save the system, you first of all destroy the system. And also, Opunaba was also true. saying that because yes. of what happened during the NSAS, you know, protests where Nigerians lost mm. many of their children, mm -hmm. many of our children, we saw our youth, many of them murdered, and then later denied and all of that. And, and eventually we we'll learned. Millions uh, so um, many Nigerians are okay, probably not as keen. Many Nigerians are probably not as keen as they used to be, no, you know, in taking part in any kind of surprised. protests. Don't be surprised. They yeah. are. Well, let me ask you a simple question. Yes. Do you know on a daily basis you're being killed and people are being killed on a daily basis? Yeah. You can imagine the 30, the 3 trillion naira allegedly stolen or uncounted for by a That's one man. Just like in River State, you find the government going to court, restraining the anti drug agencies from probing the state government, and a judge granted them that. In other words, Every state governor has a right to fleece a treasury without question. A judge granted it. EFCC has not appealed. Now, why has EFCC not appealed? 
EFCC is part of the church. What they do is when you come in, bam, you go and settle. So EFCC has nothing. But what is the reasonableness in that? Then now again, you will have NSA, former NSA, and former success, successor who, who became subject to saying there is nothing to justify for, for the amount released to the former uh, Chairman Burata. Nothing has happened. You see, when all these things go on, now eventually they say subsidy, monies are being stolen. What did they say? We already said it. Tilibu confirmed it. Microscopic few. They have failed to name and shame those characters. So we are to suffer precariously for the crimes of others while they go ahead with the fruits of the crime to enjoy. We are suffering. The problem is not subsidy, the problem is theft. So why did you address the theft? And all those involved, why have you not arrested them? If you arrest them, this issue of subsidy will end. It will not even come up. That unless you, or the theft will end. What of the refineries? The government itself is stealing, including the presidents. They are all thieves. I'm sorry to say. I'll say this and I'll justify it right now before you tell me you're I'm on air. Who authorizes the release of money for turnaround maintenance? And are the refineries being maintained? Ask yourself that question. Let us stop sketching the issues and thinking about the books. You authorize the payment of somebody for somebody for doing nothing, then you're an accomplice. So even the presidents are thieves. They know what is going on. And you want the masses to suffer from it. Why? What kind of country are we living in? That is the bane of our problem. And we are celebrating the independence, independence for colonial rule, and dependent to despots of the time. Senseless human beings. Let us stop beating about the bush. I call it, they give it a, a, look, this, the, that is, the problem with this country is theft. Mm -hmm. Our leaders are insensitive. Impunity is the bane of our society. And you cannot punish another man for a crime that you're guilty of. That is the truth about it. So the only time to go after people like a Mayfield. I am happy a Bethlehem should leave me in jail for one million years because the man <laughs> saw himself as a god. I'm very happy with what is happening to him. Honestly speaking. But, but the truth is... But should, he be, should he be the only one who is suffering this? That's the question. Then I ask just ask the question, why just a Bethlehem? Mm. Look at the citizen chairman who smacked somebody in public. The president could not even ask him when this should not say my friend resign. Okay, go on suspension first. Even if I'm not going to start, you go on suspension. Because it's a problem, public disgrace. You go to court, the matter is at John Sinega. So that you remain in office. The way you go to say, hey, the matter is in court. But I can suspend you. And the world will say, no, you can't do it. What has happened to the poor man? What of that senator that slapped somebody at the shop, if you remember? It went viral. Is it a sex toy, yes. Senator? It's still in the Senate. No, a senator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who assaulted somebody in this? Yeah, he's. What has happened? Yeah. You know, he's I a Senate abbot. What has happened something. to our party? What has happened to our laws concerning double nomination in an election? Look at the people of the country. Let us stop sketching these issues and think about the books. Let us stop sketching these issues and think about Okay, uh, let's let's just what let's, happened to let's, Francis Gayamu? Oh, uh, Pranava, let's just let's just Francis look at Gayamu this. Francis Gayamu, that was supposed not to be clear. I probably let you sit as a member of the right to ask for help to get the confirmation. Let's just look at um, uh, this generally. We'll, we'll be talking about uh, specific things, but Independence Day, APC berates PDP as opposition false Tinubu speech. Uh, that is on the point, but also we have uh, another story on uh, uh, The Guardian, which I want you to tie to it. Uh, the wife of the president, uh, Olurebi Tinubu, has said, um, and I quote, my husband is not a magician. Uh, he, she said this as a delicate orders exhort Nigerians. Okay, so she is saying this, 
and uh, opposition party, the PDP, is saying is faulting uh, some aspects of the speech of the president on Independence Day. But what is uh, what are your thoughts about the president's speech? The things that he addressed and the things which you feel he should have addressed but did not. I did not bother to listen to his speech because it's going to be the normal rhetoric. The speeches are not written by the president. They are taught how to read the speeches. We are speech writers. So I am not interested in the speech. The question is, what is on ground? Now you say you're going to pay almost 35,000 naira per person. Why did you take all these steps into constitution before the law of social? Whatever I said they're going to do. And don't forget, we still we keep hearing we will. We press you on May 29th. And this is October 2nd. All we hear is we will. We will. We will. We will. Not we have. We did. We done. We will. We will. We will. What does that tell you? These are specious excuses. These are some Fabian policies. It's a rudderless government. He thought the rumor of sourcing was going to it was going to be praised. There will be products. And the wife is coming to say, I don't care. There was not the same wife that we went to Lagos State to so all the books to get out of Lagos State some day, like, three years ago. And when she was asked last year, I went this year, and she said she has no regrets. Then was it not the same thing who said, Don't tell us sorry because we accepted this job. Welcome. Is that not the contradiction? And she said, Now the, the her husband is not a magician. Who cares if it's a magician or not? Who cares? Nobody cares. All we need is to be able to take care of ourselves and our families. But I don't care what you are. Improve the standard of living of Nigerians. You, thank you. The I, woman that said you are having another marriage. How is her standard of living? Because she's feeling fat. Her husband is not a magician. You see, just like the way we already said the Igbos are like in trap in an ocean. They make statements. Inflammatory statements without necessarily understanding the import of those statements. I can say the impulse are a drop in an ocean. I'm not an evil man. But there are things you don't see as a leader. Go on, said no victor, no banquet. Nigeria was victorious. But he said no victor, no banquet. Then he said the impulse are like a drop in an ocean. Then he went forward to say your, your defense of democracy will be tantamount to the, your level of votes. That's what Buhari said. Now, the same thing now, Tinubu, his wife has come up with it. First, he goes to Lagos State. You cannot come to Lagos to make money, and at the end of the day, you won't vote for ABC. Is Tinubu a Lagos man? They claim he's from one of us or what? Is he a Lagos man? Is he a Lagos man? So what are we talking about? All right. The yeah. aborigines have they not been sidelined? So, if you talk of the speech, I did not even bother to listen, but these are men rhetoric, 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 that's what you hear. It's like when people get up the money to tell the G, uh, GDP is this, this. What is the market to man business with GDP? All she wants is yesterday she bought a couple of garden for one naira, mm -hmm. and today it's 50 couple. That's all. Mm -hmm. Or she bought a couple of garden for one naira, and to, tomorrow it is two or two naira. Why is it two naira? Exactly. That's all she's interested in. Forget the GDP and all those rubbish. In fact, that seems to be a lot of what we hear. Well, it, is say, it is say that transportation uh, will be uh, reduced uh, drastically. It did say taxation was for a good. Will, it did say there were palliatives. Will. It did say they, there's going to be increment in don't salary and so on. Don't bother now. Don't you save, save your brain, please, for better things. Yes, you have to listen because of your job. But save it for better things. Because by the time you get home, your wife and kids will have to more serious Daddy, did you bring the chocolate? Your wife will say, did you bring the feeding money? Are you going to tell her Tinibu said? I'm one, day, one day, one day. Daddy, have you paid my school fee? Are you going to say Tinibu said? Daddy, I can't go to school tomorrow. Are you going to say Tinibu said? You're going to provide the buses? Relax. Is that what you're going to tell your kids? Okay, there's something on, on Are you going to tell the fuel station? Are you going to tell the fuel station attendant that Tinibu said the price will reduce? Fill my car? Hmm. Let's just stop with the scene. 
Okay, let, wait, 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 let's wait, move wait, on. Wait, let's wait, move wait, on wait, from wait, that. You you've made very your strong uh, point. Your point very strongly. Uh, there's something still on the page of the uh, the the punch. No, not the punch. The Guardian newspaper, which I'd like us to talk about. I don't know how much information you have on this casualization, concerns over exploitation, high demand for cheap labor. This is their news analysis on page four. Is where you get details of that. I haven't read it. Have you read that? This caught my attention because of the exploitation. I will, mm -hmm. I will, I will quickly tell you, mm -hmm. for lack of time. Cardinalization, a good example, River State. How? You promise one billion jobs. You see, promises. <laughs> I will employ one billion people, hypothetically. Then you come up with construction companies. These construction companies are not employing managerial staff. They're employing the cadre workers that we are paid daily by the end. Hmm. And most times, it happens in the that's why it's in the university, 750 per day times 30 days, less than the minimum wage. That if there is any infraction, or alleged infraction, you're denied for that day. Mm. You're not, you don't get anything. And in most cases, there are to cost down the money. Yeah. The boys are accused wrongly. Then at the end of the day, you're going to say you have employed those casual workers? No. When you talk of employment, you talk of appointment. You set up industries mm -hmm. that will cut across the strata. You have from the gate man to the MD. It could be PPP, which means it's a symbiotic relationship. So even the majority staff, you have them. And they can even retire. They can plan their lives. That is when you say gainful employment or somebody has been given an appointment. Not when you bring in somebody to exams from left, right, and center, you pay them 750. Today they go one minute late to work, you shut the gates. They can't come in. You've taken another, another person. These, these exploitations are also home? seen, open up, but these exploitations are also yes. seen in Chinese companies, most companies owned by Chinese people, Lebanese. I just, and these I are just the used Gilles Berger and River State as a very good example. Mm -hmm. they, they protested and some died. Mysterious for protest. It happened. I'm just trying to justify your statement. It happened. So that's the issue. That's, that's the problem we have. Then one person will say, I have gainfully employed. How? An employment or appointment that you cannot plan with. Oftentimes and I've asked, time, what is the NLC and, and what has, has NLC done work? about this? About the casual. Most times the when they go to work, oh, 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 now we are talking. I, I just, I just saw, I just saw another. Leave friend. NLC now. What, 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 what are you going to do with NLC? I told let us leave. We have to disband that NLC. What NLC? Let us leave NLC alone now. What you do that if NLC is one of the government? I saw. You're seeing an irresponsible organization, and you're talking of NLC. NLC, NLC. To do what? I saw a statement of. Let's move like that to federate their pocket. We've gone past that period of the cocoris of Pendersons and Co. Mm. We don't have them anymore. We don't have them anymore. These are just, they are going to, they are going to, okay. I bet you the strike will be called up. I think they have a meeting today. I, I told you last week, they will not have the gun to go on that side. They will give them envelopes. Ghana must go. Well, you're a legend. You're a legend. You're a legend. It's still... I, I'm not saying plus TV. Okunabo said it. Yeah. The medium is just close to you. Oplabo said it. Oplabo is the even know that call them corrupt individuals. They are not there in the interest of Nigeria. That's the truth. So I don't want to talk about NLC, I don't want to talk about this. If we fail to take our faith in our, our destiny in our own heart, then shame or not. Because nobody will. You, you are going to because what they are going to do, see, yeah, what yeah. they are going to do right now is even to discuss the front of government. What of other Nigerians and what of other mistakes? Most states cannot. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I think that's that's how that's how much we can take from um, of the press. But I I was trying to say I I saw when 
one of these governors, in fact, the governor of Imo State that was saying, maybe it was a campaign strategy because uh, there was, there's going to be an election in November, uh, saying that he will give 4,000 jobs to Imo uh, indigents in the UK, mm. <laughs> not even in Imo State. And I was just wondering, how are you going to do that? It, would, it got so bad that uh, the UK government said, oh, is it UK or the can Canada, now said that they have no idea about how those jobs are going to come about because there was no collaboration with the government and they don't see that ever mm. happening. Why will our people be making statements That is the like governor this? of a state. Governor of a state. I saw it. To Hope Uzo I saw it. So why, why would you not just do things can that will make people can just... Can I quickly speak on that? Can I quickly speak on that? Yes, please. Just, yes, please. Just yes, one minute, please. Yes. One minute, please. That, 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 we are talking about the shenanigans of, of, of governors yes. or leaders. Now you say... Is it not even a, a, an indictment that you will have to? You pay for the fail, then you move them to Canada, mm. where they will be gainfully employed. And you've been a governor for four years. Mm. Why didn't you create the enabling environment for them to be employed in your state? In your state, in, in the country. So why would you move them away from your state to yeah. Canada? They just talk. <laughs> is that, is, is that, that tells you of intellectual paralysis. <sighs> I'm not sure. You, you think you're fooling people. It talks of intellectual paralysis. And the people we are hailing, hey, they were not hailing, but they were hailing because at the end of the day, 2,000 might come out. Let me go home and fit for that. Day. They all knew the government was not telling them. But if at the end of the day, those that brought us here will give us 1,000, 2,000, it will buy a car. Exactly. Rented crowds. When, 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 when you know. saw the cheer, when I saw the cheer, I, I told myself, these people don't even understand. You, you could see that some of them were hesitant. They, they were like, what did he just say? But some were cheering. And those who were cheering, you could and tell they, they, they had no idea what he had, he had just said. They had no idea what he just said. Those who are hesitant to be told to make me a bad action. They will tell them you want to put some sound for my direct. Why? 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 Thank you so much for your time. Good morning. A pleasure having you. Happy Independence anniversary again. Yeah. <laughs> Open up on Kachari, a political affairs analyst, has joined us from River State on Of the Press. Stay with us. We'll be coming up next with our first hot topic on The Breakfast.